everyone. The autopsy results for Kevin Samuels are in, and it looks like he died as a result of hypertension. And this is eliminating any possible suspicious circumstances surrounding his death. He was 57 years old. So hopefully this puts to bed all the rumors circulating and um, misinformation about possibly he was uh, killed or there was foul play or the woman that found him was involved in his death. Hopefully that will all stop and that woman can have some peace. Uh, the Fulton County Medical Examiner released the findings today telling us he died of hypertension, which is basically high blood pressure. Um, they said they found evidence of hypertension, including um, his heart chambers were thicker than normal. They said he was also on high blood pressure medication, something called atenol, um, which is used to treat hypertension. And so they're classifying his death as a natural causes. So that um, those are the results. And all of us, um, whoever watched his show sporadically or, or all the time, it doesn't matter. You always saw him with a glass of Red Bull. And I hope that um, through his death, whether you liked Kevin Samuels or didn't like Kevin Samuels or like what he said or didn't like, agreed or disagree, I hope we can all... Uh, agree on that if you have high blood pressure, uh, stay off the Red Bull. We would see Kevin Samuels um, burping, like he had acid reflux and different things, and people tried to warn him, please don't drink uh, any Red Bull, drink water, drink water. And one of the things Kevin Samuels would always ask his guests, uh, he would always ask, uh, what do you bring uh, to the table or what do you add to a man's life. And let me tell you, results and statistics are very clear that uh, single people, whether you're a man or a woman, you die earlier than married people. You are dying anywhere from um, seven to 15 years earlier than married people. And the reason that is, is because when you are married, there is someone else in the home with you. There is someone else who is invested in your health. There is someone else who is looking out for you. And statistics show that adds anywhere from 8 to 15 years on your life. I can't help but to believe that if Kevin Samuels had been married, had he found a wife, had he chosen a wife, that wife would have been, been invested in his life. That wife would have made sure he was drinking more water or at least off of that Red Bull. She would have nagged him. Absolutely. We think nagging is bad. In this case, a nagging might have saved his life. I know in my own life, my husband was diagnosed with cancer and it was due to my nagging that he went to the doctor and we found the cancer at an early enough stage that treatment worked. And then after that, I nagged him on eating better. I nagged him through chemo. I nagged him through a radiation and the doctors told him and everyone else that he is should be lucky to have uh, a, a wife because Statistics show that single men come in for cancer treatment lots later than married men because they don't have a spouse there uh, nagging them. I know women get a hard time about nagging men, but sometimes the nagging uh, saves lives. And I can't help but to believe that if Kevin Samuels were married, he'd still be here today. So let this be a lesson uh, to everyone in terms of that Red Bull, cut it out, and also taking care of your health. And when you're sitting evaluating, what does a man do for you? What does a woman do for you? Maybe because of Kevin Samuel's death, you may say, um, I just might live 8 to 15 years longer. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.